Girls, it's Mrs. Kramer again from Hopewell. I'm actually reading to you from my home, and my daughter Leah is videoing for us. And this is one of her books that she loves, and I actually read it to my class um, at the end of the year. The author is Peter Catalanato, and he came to Leah's elementary school, East Ford Elementary School, in 2009 and signed the book for Leah. The book's called Matthew ABC, and... It's signed to Leah, Always Be Creative, in 2009. The publishing company is a Richard Jackson book from Athenium Books for Young Readers. And it says the pictures are done in watercolor. So I thought that was neat for the artwork, too. So it's called Matthew ABC. Mrs. Tuttle has 25 children in her class. They are all named Matthew. Principal Nozit understands, sorry, Principal Nozit wonders how Mrs. Tuttle tells them apart. She finds it quite simple. Matthew A, and notice on the pages as I read, there's a capital A and a lowercase a. The letters will be capital and lowercase. Matthew A is extremely affectionate. He likes to hug a lot. Matthew B. loves band-aids. Matthew C. has friendly calyx. This calyx says hello. Calyx are like little parts of your hair that stand up. There's Matthew C. Matthew D. believes he's a duck. Quack, quack. Matthew E. forgets how to eat. Uh-oh. This is a silly book, as you can see. Matthew F. has a cat on his face. Face starts with the letter F. Matthew G. has trouble with glue. Uh-oh, he's glued himself to the chair. And lots of other stuff to him, too. What does the calic say? Oh, the calic. You're making me go back. On G. Oh, G. Does it say something? It does, but I can't read it. I can't read it. It looks like an E something. Sorry, I can't read it. Can you read it, Leah? I think it says, oh no, doesn't it? It says, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> You're right. Oh my. This calyx says, oh my. Very good, Leah. I didn't notice that. Matthew H appears to be headless. Matthew I is incognito. It means he's in disguise. He's pretending to be something else. Matthew J. works a night job. He's so tired from working his night job, he's sleeping at school. Matthew K. is unusually fond of ketchup. Look, he even dressed up like ketchup. He put himself as a ketchup bottle. There's one too. Matthew L. leaks. Ew, that's disgusting. You boys will appreciate that. Matthew M is moody. Uh-oh, he looks happy on this side and kind of grumpy on that side. Matthew M. Matthew N is nearly naked. Ah! Matthew O stays outside. O for outside. What letter comes after O? N O P. Let's see what's P. Matthew P. is perpetually perplexed. He's not sure what to do. He's confused. Look, he's even backwards on the slide. Matthew Q. is queasy. Oh, that means he doesn't feel good. Matthew R. is freckled with a rhinoceros. Look at that a rhinoceros freckles on his face. Matthew S. can't wait for summer. He's in a sink. Also starting with an S. Ready to swim. With his snorkel. Oh, yes, with his snorkel. Good one, Leah. Matthew T. is fiercely tense. Matthew U. is completely uneven. Look, he's got shorts on one side, pants on the other, different shirt. Oh, even his hair is uneven with a U. Matthew V. 
is constantly volunteering. I'll do it. I'll do it. That means he's constantly saying he'll do it. Volunteering is a V. Matthew W has a very high waist. No wonder she can tell them all apart. They're all a little different, a lot different. Matthew X has swallowed a xylophone, starts with an X. Matthew Y only yodels. He's a yodeler. Well, that's 25 Matthews. Principal Nozit tells Mrs. Tuttle she has a new student. Guess what his name is? Matthew! That's going to make 26 Matthews. Look at all the Matthews in there. Let's see what, what do you think? What Matthew? does the calyx say? Oh, let's see what the calyx says. Welcome! Excellent. All right, what letter do you think this Matthew's last name is going to start with? We went through the whole alphabet and we ended with Y. The last letter in the alphabet is Z. Mrs. Tuttle sees he's exactly what her class needs. He's got zippers all over him. Silly Matthew. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book, boys and girls, and I hope you're reading at home with moms and dads and your older brothers and sisters. And if you have a chance, go around your house today and look around and see if you can name some things that start with A first and then B and see if you can go through part of the alphabet. If you can have it and if you have an older brother or sister and you want to go through the whole alphabet, find something in your house that starts with each letter of the alphabet. There would be 26 things that you'll find. Have a great day and thanks for listening. I miss you. Bye.